Chris Dyson from Mr. Beast used me, manipulated me, and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. Yo, it is just not a safe time to be a minor in 2024. Another individual has come forward talking about Ava's Discord server, but we're going to get into that later. Right, welcome back, Game of Virgins. Today we're talking about Ava Tyson, probably one of the most disliked, if not most disliked person on YouTube at the moment, primarily by association with them being popular due to Mr. Beast. Yeah, Ava's officially been kicked out of anything related to Mr. Beast now. I mean, no one was buying their statement of they've come to a mutual understanding and they've parted ways. What mutual understanding do you come to when you've been inappropriately messaging minors? Is there like a secret handshake I should know about? Hey, sorry you kinda suck. Stay lit, Ohio Skibbity Riz, and then just dap up or something. But Mr. Beast has released a statement with Ava, and it reads as follows. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. And obviously being the internet, being the internet, everybody is already memeing on it. Mr. Beast's new video, I hired a hundred lawyers to save my friend Ava from PDF allegations. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, the whole situation is just disgusting. There is no denying that, but another user on Twitter has come forward talking about the Discord server that Ava created when they were 20 and they were talking to young people. The caption of the tweet is actually, Ava Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast preyed upon me when I was 15. This is my story, so let's watch. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me, manipulated me, and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. You, you just leaked your address. Please end your stream. As well as other technical backend things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there. Nah, bro, this is weird. This is creepy. You're telling me Ava Tyson, who was 20 to 21 years of age at the time, had a secret Discord server of 10 people and all of them were minors. Apparently, some of them snuck in there somehow. How do you sneak into a private Discord server? Someone like Ava Tyson would have had to personally send a link to the individual who joined. They wouldn't have just been handing out invites to people. It was a private Discord server. We've probably not even heard the worst of it so far, so let's hear what he has to say. Other than me and Lava, he won a giveaway and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners, and he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images, corn images. So Ava had a, a secret Discord server, which was private to people. It had about 10 people in it. Most of them were minors for some reason. And Ava thought it was a funny kahoot of an idea to have a NSW <laughs> corn bot. Like it's, I'm trying not to laugh. It's just insane that 
they thought that this was a good idea. And there's people defending Ava saying that this was just inappropriate jokes. Like, you actually can't make this up, but it is so shocking that this never came out before. Um, alongside all these 15-year-olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the coolest person in the world, so they couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes. But looking back, I was, I was definitely uncomfortable uh, at being called daddy by a 20 year old. Um, and it, even just thinking about it now, it's just uncomfortable. A 20 to 21 year old calling 13 to 14 year olds daddy is weird. There's no defending that. There's no excuse for it. It's not edgy. It's disgusting, bro. Mr. Beast has done the right thing, removing Ava from the entire operation of that, which consists of working with Mr. Beast's team. Ava would have had a very comfortable life had they just not been a total creep. I, I don't want to bring it up, but Ava had a family and has a son. And it's alarming that someone like this is speaking to young people like this. Even purchasing lollipop content and sticking it up on your front room wall it should be ringing alarm bells. It just blows my mind that there's so many people on social media who just get exposed for being just absolute degenerates. This server later went public and became his official Discord server, but before it did, he had me and Lava spend multiple days scrubbing this discord server clean of all of the n-words he had sent in it as well as his friends as well as deleting the nsfw channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming corn to minors this story is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize so if you want to hear more and you want a part two let me know it's just absolute filth. It's disgusting. The fact Ava was doing this and had these kids scrub the Discord clean of anything NSFW, nah, bro, they're done. All this going on while Mr. Beast was grinding on YouTube and you're out here running some Discord with minors. If an adult is hanging around kids as friends, check their hard drive. The thing is, more is probably going to come out about all this because there is no way that there are only two victims involved in all this. And I know Lava GS has said that he, they were never groomed, but it, that's kind of how it works. You have been groomed into thinking nothing has happened when clearly some very inappropriate things were going on. And the fact you had to sign an NDA, which I kind of guess is understandable at this point, but that just kind of shows you that there is probably some things going on over there that they do not want people knowing about. But yeah, honestly, shout out to Nathan for actually coming out with this story and talking about it and actually having evidence to back it up that he actually was part of this Discord server and worked with Ava at the time. I think there's probably going to be a lot more stories that are going to come out over the next few days or even weeks talking about this situation. A large part of the response to Mr. Beast's tweet was honestly just pretty much transphobic comments, which I don't really want to put out on the channel. I don't think it's really necessary. I don't want to attack a large group of people just because one person is an absolute turd. And as well, I'm not going to hold Jimmy accountable for this. He may have known something, but until evidence comes out actually suggesting otherwise that he he might have known something was going on apart from a picture just being hung up on a wall i'm not really going to use this as an excuse to attack mr beast let's keep the topic on point which is holding ava responsible for what they've done but yeah i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the topic at hand i hope you all have a wonderful day that's it for the video and i'll see you all next time